and stay with things astronomical, superstitious types, be warned. This week there's a full moon, a harvest moon, and a super moon all rolled into one. Which just has to mean werewolves. That's all we have time for this week. If we haven't been savaged by werewolves, next week we'll be devoting the entire show to developments in gene therapy. Science Today was presented by Marcus Willoughby and the producer was Melissa Ward. As a small child, composer Howard Miller visited a cave where he became fascinated with echoing sounds. Hello? Hello? there now I moved last Sunday I did inform you I updated my details online the day I moved what no Oxford was even further back look forget Oxford forget Plymouth forget any other previous address you've got for me sort it out by tomorrow or lose my custom Shouldn't take me more than 20 minutes to get into work. <laughs> John, I'm a sick OK, I'll get it checked out and I'll let you know if we need any amendments. aren't you? You did go, didn't you? Did I go? The answer's written all over my face. Boredom. You have no real idea what it's like to be bored. I've tried being bored for years. Sweet. Well, that was nice of her. Can we set the telly up, Mum? 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 Can you set the telly up? Oh, shush. It'll do you good to live without television for a while. <sighs> Doesn't feel like it's doing me any good. 
Same goes that stupid school. Here's just, just one of the things I have to read for English. And this. And this. That one they all read last term. You'll catch up. Do you always do? Think of the catching up I had to do in my life. Made any friends there yet? <laughs> Hope not. Don't say silly things like that. Doesn't feel silly to me. They're all crap there. You said that when you started your last school. They were all crap in my last school. Really? All of them? All 350 of them were crap, including Natasha. Saying people and things are crap all the time won't get you very far in life, Emily. This flat is crap. Oh, that's funny. Only yesterday you were telling me you actually like this grotty flat. You said it had more personality than the last one. Yeah, and it has way more spiders too. And it's colder than the last one. Colder? How would you know? Weather's been so mild since we moved in. Not in my bedroom, it hasn't. It's freezing. Sometimes. Whatever it is you're doing out there, do your homework instead. No, I'll do it later. I'm sorting my bedroom out first. I told you, I took them to a charity shop. You missed one, you missed Jemima. Well, Jemima must have been hiding. Jemima, were you hiding? Or did you creep back to me? Gorgeous. I live 200 miles away now. I told you last week, we'll never see each other again. It's how life goes. Get over it and move on. You were crap anyway. Mum, put the heating on.
people, the people. Mom, put the heating on. It is on, it's been on 20 minutes. I'm turning it off in a I was wondering when you'd finally get out of bed. Your so-called father seems to have got himself married to Sophie Hamilton, of all people. Remember her from when you were small? Did she used to babysit me? Sometimes. She never even used to like your so-called father. I I never liked him. Life would have been different. Must be a hundred years old. Might be worth something as an antique. Which room do you think it's from? My room. How do you know? I just do. That's about the right size for your room. I am up. Well, you're half up, I suppose. 
But the fridge is bare again. Here's 40 quid. Can you get some food in after school? You know what we need? Stuff to keep us going for the rest of the week. No, I'll be too tired. Not as tired as I'll be. I'm not going to be able to leave work till after seven because I've got a meeting. Can I use some of it to get my hair cut? You want to spend money on a haircut now? <sighs> my hair's too long. Well, that's funny because that's not what you said last week when I wanted to trim it. I'll cut your hair tomorrow for free. No, I want to get a proper haircut. <sighs> what do you mean a proper haircut? Like Natasha's. Emily, if you want to pay for a haircut, you'll have to save up out of your allowance. I've spent my allowance. Yes, I'm not surprised because of all the rubbish you bought last week. Start getting ready now. No, what? You're making me late. <sighs> I can't believe you're finally old enough that I can leave you in the house unsupervised and you still insist on being my ball and chain. Put this and the airbed back in the box. what it's like. Oh my god, she was just the same age as me. Look, died age 13. Haven't you noticed? There's loads in here that died young. God, you're right. Here's another one. Died 1891, age 13. Let's just stick to dressing like Victorians, not dying like them. Yeah, good plan. One of my better ones. You bunking school? Don't worry, we don't bite. Yes, we do. We're vampires. OK, we do bite, but you'll enjoy it. Sexy bites. You are bunking, aren't you? Yeah, I'm bunking. Don't worry, we're not going to grass you up or anything. We're bunking too. Do you go to North Bank? Y yeah. I don't recognise you. Are you new? Yeah. New. Starting Monday. I'm bunking off already. You should change out your uniform so you don't get spotted. Teachers do patrols. Do they? Never here, though. They probably think we're too scared to come here. Yeah, scared. As if. About ten of us from school meeting here after dark's night for a full moon party. Ooh, full moon. So frightening. Oh, shut up. You should come tonight. It's going to be so cool. Some older boys are coming. Older boys, I hope I don't faint. I wish you faint now. We're all bringing candles and lanterns and stuff tonight. It's going to be totally brilliant. You really should come. You'll make new friends. Come back! We're not really vampires.
So you're a goth now, are you? That stuff better wash out of your hair. And where did you get the money for that funny garment? Found it. Found it? Found the money or found the dress? Found the dress. Who finds a dress? It doesn't look found, it looks unworn. It was in the cupboard in my room. Wrapped up. There was nothing in that cupboard, I checked. Shoplifting again, are we? No. It was in the cupboard. Hidden under a loose floorboard. I'm not sure I believe that. If you're shoplifting again, you're in big trouble. It's been problems all the way with you, hasn't it? She never got a chance to wear it before she died. That's why it looks unworn. Excuse me? Who are we talking about? Who died? The girl who used to live here. What girl? How do you know she died? It's a Victorian garment. Leona couldn't still be alive, could she? Of course she's dead. She's cold and alone now. God, you have become a goth, haven't you? Look, I'm starving. We can talk later about where you really got that dress. Have you eaten yet? There's no food. Yes, I know there's no food. That's why I asked you to get some in. She's cold and alone now. Okay, you stay out here in the dark practicing your spooky goth skills while your hard-working mother goes to get us some food. Emily, I know you're there. I can hear you breathing. Stop playing up. I can't find a shop that's open in this stupid town, so I'm going to get us takeaways. I won't be eating. I'm going to stay with a friend. <laughs> 